One of the most transformative messages that you put out is the importance of taking personal responsibility in the biggest way possible. And in fact, on Rogan, you asked yourself, what is the meaning of life? And you concluded that it's the meaning that reveals itself when you take maximal responsibility for your own life. Because I think the meaning of life is a question that everyone asks themselves all of the time. And at different parts of time in your life, you're always coming to different answers. And I thought that that is the exactly different the- Different wrong answers. There is a line of philosophical thinking now that is philosophers who are debating whether existence itself and hypothetically the spirit that gave rise to existence can be characterized as evil or good. Because if you look at the world, you could say, well, the amount of suffering outweighs the amount of pleasure. And so therefore, existence itself has questionable utility. That's what the antinatalists presume. That's what Goethe's Mephistopheles pronounced. He was a great, uh, what would you say, hero to Karl Marx, the ultimate antinatalist. But it's, it's, it's a foolish way of conceptualizing the world because it presumes that the right axis of evaluation is something like pleasure versus pain, like it's a hedonic evaluation. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true at all. I, I don't think it's true existentially. Partly, for, here's, a re, here's a reason. You know, you might say, well, I just want to be happy. And first question is, what the hell do you mean by happy? Do you mean extroverted? Do you mean full of positive emotion? Do you mean you're not suffering? Do you, do, do you mean you're calm? Like, what the hell do you mean happy? You know, so it's very ill-defined term. But, but it's also not even obvious that is what you want. So what might you want instead? Well, here, here's a question. It's like, what memories can you draw on that, what would you say, situate you most effectively in existential space? So imagine that you're taking yourself apart with your conscience, wondering whether or not you're a worthwhile person, evaluating yourself morally. You don't look back in your past and ask yourself how often you were happy. Like That's just pointless. What you do is you go over your biography, let's say, and you think about if you're trying to defend yourself from your own accusations even, you think about those times where even under duress, you pushed the boulder successfully up the bloody hill. And the funny thing is, is that those situations without the difficulty wouldn't have the same impact. And so there's, there is a much more profound way of evaluating life's utility than the hedonic evaluation, which I think is very primitive and pointless because many difficult things cause suffering but are worth doing. Marriage does that. Children do that. Like any career that's worthy of its name, any job that's worthy of its name. It's not, you can't evaluate its utility on the basis of its happiness. That's That problem, the fact that we do that by default is nothing but an index of how pathological our culture is. We just assume axiomatically that the right evaluation, even for the quality of life, is the hedonic evaluation. That means we're basically hedonists. That's not a helpful orientation in the world. It's very immature. It's very immature.